Hundreds of people protested in Civic Plaza condemning hate and racism. This in response to a Proud Boys event reportedly planned nearby. Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Kayla Norwood. Active 7 News reporter Stella Sun was at the protest earlier today. She says it was relatively peaceful, but there were moments when tensions escalated. Kaylin, earlier today, a good portion of Civic Plaza behind me was filled with protesters. Now, the majority of people were peaceful, but yes, there were moments of screaming, taunting, and even some physical fighting. Now, I do want to warn you, some of this video can be tough to watch. We got reports there would be a Proud Boys rally today in Civic Plaza. The Southern Poverty Law labels the Proud Boys as a hate group known for white supremacy ideology. In response to those reports, 12 different organizations showed up to protest against the Proud Boys. They have no power over us! Many of these groups have different beliefs, but they say they're all united against racism. When the whole community comes together to stand against white supremacy, against hatred, not only are we going to outnumber these people, but we're also going to show that we protect each other, we love and care for each other. To my knowledge, we didn't see any Proud Boys show up. Again, from what we saw, the majority of protesters were peaceful, but there were moments like this that escalated. We think this fight broke out between some protesters after what appeared to be a man recording really close to some people's faces. We don't know that for sure, but it's from what our team saw. Now, there were several people I spoke with today who were against the violence and condemned the physical fighting that broke out. Reporting in Albuquerque, I'm Stella Sun, KOAT Action 7 News. So oh, thank you. Well, police were patrolling the area, some wearing riot gear. APD detained a gun advocate at the protest for carrying firearms on the grounds of Civic Plaza. New Mexico is an open carry state, but a city ordinance says you cannot have firearms there. He got a citation. Stella did talk to him. He said he believes the Biden administration is trying to take away Americans' rights to carry firearms.